Hi. In the previous section, we learned how to create Open Frameworks projects and became acquainted with debugging. In this section, we'll learn how to use add-ons. Add-ons are Open Frameworks extensions that allow you to use various libraries and devices in your project. We start from introducing the add-ons. Next, we'll learn how to install a contributed add-on, OFX Box 2D. Finally, we'll explore three most popular contributed add-ons. OFX Face Tracker, OFX CV, and OFX Dat GUI. In the first video of this section, we'll learn some basic details about add ons. We'll start with discussing what an add on is and where add ons are installed. Next, we'll discuss two classes of add ons, namely core and contributed add ons. Finally, we'll learn to link an add on to an existing project. Traditionally, add ons' names begin with OFX. That means Open Frameworks Extension. Add-ons are stored as folders inside the Add-ons folder. Typically, a folder of an add-on consists of C++ code files, and additionally can include libraries, scripts, examples, and documentation. Open Frameworks is distributed with a number of pre-installed add-ons. They are called core add-ons. These add-ons are matured and greatly polished. But there's much more available add-ons, called contributed add-ons. Their list is published on site of xaddons.com. By default, the site shows available add-ons by categories. Also, you could view add-ons sorted by popularity, last updating date, without sorting, and sorted by contributors. These add-ons are created and supported by hundreds of developers over the world. How to decide that in practice? Is it enough to use open frameworks and core add-ons? Or do we need to install some contributed add-on? To answer this question, we need to know Open Framework's capabilities and the capabilities of core add-ons. In short, Pure Open Frameworks supports basic multimedia, including 3D drawing and shaders, as well as working with file system. Core add-ons extended by networking, computer vision, several mobile-specific add-ons, and some others. The details on Open Frameworks and core add-ons can be found on this documentation page. At the top here is listed Open Frameworks capabilities. Below here is listed documentation about all core add-ons. Please explore this page. Another big source of knowledge about Open Frameworks and core add-ons is Examples folder. All examples related to core add-ons are placed in Add-on subfolder. To link an add-on to a project, we need to specify its paths and files in the IDE. The simplest ways to achieve it is by starting a new project called Project Generator, or by copying an add-on's example folder and using it as a scratch for the project. We had learned this already in the previous section. To link an add-on to the existing project, there are two ways. The straightforward way is manually configuring paths and adding add-ons files to your IDE project. The simpler approach is to use a special Open Frameworks plugin available for Xcode, Visual Studio, and Qt Creator. Let's consider details of that for different IDEs. For Xcode, this plugin is called OFX Code Menu. The plugins page on GitHub contains detailed information on installing and using the plugin. For Visual Studio, this plugin is called Open Frameworks Plugin Surprise. See details on its installing and using at the Visual Studio Setup Guide page on the Open Frameworks website. For Qt Creator, the Open Frameworks plugin currently allows only to create a project with the selected add-ons, but does not allow to add or remove used add-ons. For this, we need to edit QBS file of our project directly. See the details about how to do it in a video placed on the Qt Creator Setup Guide page on Open Frameworks website. In this video, we learned what add-ons are and how to link an add-on to a project. 